Yes, it's Brexit again. Of course. I've been talking to a couple of farmers yes. yesterday, mm. and they're particularly concerned about migrant workers. Yes. But, you know, we've got abattoirs around here. Yeah. It's not just the horticultural side, it's no. a lot of the side. Are you able to give them any, any sort of um, assurance that, that we will have yes. the workers to keep the farming going? Well, the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary have been very clear that once we leave the European Union, that our migration policy will be shaped by the interests of, of industry. And food and drink is our biggest manufacturing industry. Agriculture has depended on labour from um, abroad. We know that everything from the vets and abattoirs to uh, some of the people who are involved in uh, uh, the most um, intimate parts of farming come from from uh, uh, the EU 27 countries. Um, of course, it's also the case that there are people who come from further afield who can contribute. And we just want to make sure that our migration policy is uh, attuned to the needs of business and is flexible. And you know that's why I and my colleague George Eustace have been talking to and hearing from farmers um, uh, in order to make sure that we get the right policy in the future. And again, tariffs, so they're yes. very worried about tariffs that, that might change and, and, and their export, export markets could disappear. <coughs> Well, one of the things about British agriculture is that our, our, our uh, produce is um, uh, world-renowned for its quality and I'm confident that we'll be able not just to maintain tariff-free access to the European market but also to forge new trade deals with other countries so that our farmers have um, a world to win.